Hi everyone, Yasas Kikalo Sirtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today I'm going to teach you how to make roasted and stuffed mini peppers. They're vegan, they're going to be stuffed with olives and herbs. So easy to make, they're the perfect appetizer. Great for summertime if you're making something on the grill and you want something fancy but easy to make on the side. This is it right here. You can actually make these ahead of time and then just warm them through before you serve them. Let's get started. So we're gonna start off with between 12 to 14 mini peppers. You can use any color you like or a variety of colors. These come in red, orange, and yellow. So I just usually pick up a bag from the supermarket. Slice them down the center but not all the way through so that way you can take out the seeds carefully or you could just slice them all the way through down the center and fill them just like that but they look better if they're gonna be able to close and you'll see what I'm talking about once we're done carefully take out the seeds and then set the peppers aside now we're gonna make the filling so we're gonna finally chop up or finally slice up four scallions they're also known as green onions in other parts of the world finally slice those up and put them in a pan heating over medium heat drizzle with olive oil and a little pinch of salt and cook them until they're nice and soft it's going to take about three or four minutes these soften really quickly they're very delicate then go ahead and grate about two cloves of garlic and put that in the pan and just warm it through grated garlic can burn quickly if you're if you keep it on the on the fire or on the heat for too long so just warm that through mix it up and then take it off of the heat transfer that mixture into a mixing bowl and then it's time to add the rest of the ingredients so i have 10 to 12 pitted kalamata olives this looks like more like 14 actually you're just going to want to dice them up or chop them up put that in the bowl then i have about 10 uh, grape tomatoes here dice them up as small as you can without mushing them up and put that those in the bowl then you want a little bunch of parsley about two to three tablespoons full once it's finely chopped chop that up and put it in the bowl and then i'm using some breadcrumbs here about a half a cup of them if you want to keep this uh, gluten-free and keto you can add flax meal ground flax seeds to this that works too or just leave it out completely. It's just a nice binding agent, so I would recommend that you put it in there. Otherwise, if you wanna use maybe some lentils or something like that that you already have cooked, you can add those in here too. Mix that all up, season it with a tiny pinch of salt. Olives tend to be salty enough, so just taste it and adjust the seasoning to your liking. I just like to do a little pinch of salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and a little drizzle of olive oil. Mix that all up, and then go ahead and fill your peppers generously. Put as much of the filling as you can put in there. I ended up having to uh, fill two, two to three more peppers because I had some filling left over. I like to bake my peppers in a cast iron skillet, but you could use a nine by 13 inch baking pan. Preheat the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit, but before you put them in there, just drizzle everything with a little bit of olive oil. It's just gonna help them cook better and bake them until the peppers are nice and soft and tender. That's gonna take between 30 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven and the size of the peppers. Just keep an eye on them. Once they come out of the oven, they're ready to serve. I like to drizzle them with some balsamic vinegar. This balsamic vinegar here is from our shop. You can order some if you live in America. We ship throughout you know, all of the states. So head on over to DemetriusDishes.com and get and grab one if you want. This is the dark balsamic, but we also have white balsamic. I like to just put something tangy over this. It just brings all the flavors together beautifully, and it is time for the taste test. I'm going to grab this small one right here. It's bite-sized. Mmm. So delicious. The sweet peppers just become even sweeter when you roast them in the oven, and that filling, you get a little bite from the olive. Tomato is in there too. Everything just tastes so fresh and delicious. So easy to make. The exact measurements are on the website, DemetrisDishes.com. You can go over there and print the recipe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And if you have any more recipe requests, post them down there too. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. And if you want to learn how to make the non-vegan version of this, that's poblano peppers I use for that, and it's stuffed with cheese and just delicious things, click over here and I'll see you right over there. Yes, us.